How's it going everyone? Uh, Mellow Link here. I just want to make a quick video on the Sabaki parry. Now a lot of people, uh, I don't even know if they know it exists, but it's a pretty sick uh, parry. It does punches and puts them in a head first position and has a number of follow-ups and puts them in basically anything they do, you can take advantage of it. So it's a really good move to use. Um, I never see it used in any matches, probably because it's got a, it looks like a long startup, and if it's whiffed, obviously you're dead. But it does have some really good uses, especially in Season 3. So I'm just going to go through a few of them now, just so you guys get a feel of it. Um, maybe you want to use this in your Dragon of play, if you play him. Um, it is certainly stylish, uh, and if you get the right read, it looks sick. So, let's get into it. So you want to be aiming for around the minus 3 to 0 on block range. Uh, so back to um, and a few other moves, definitely you can do the Sabaki parry after. Um, quarter circle forward one as well, you can use that because it's only minus three and it's really good to use it there because people want to take their turn back after you use it since it's like your launcher. Another huge big brain strat would be Sabaki parry into Sabaki parry seeing as it's only minus two. And finally, another very, very underused move, uh, sidestep 2, 1 plus 2. It's actually minus 4 on block, so you can actually use the Sabaki parry after this. Now, concerning the Sabaki parry once it's actually landed, think of it like up forward 4, so you can, you can still get down 4, 3, uh, 1. Or if you want, you can run up and do a stomp as well, just for a quicker ending. Or if it's got a floor break, um, you can do down 3, 4, that will actually break the floor as well. Or you can go for something even more crazy, whereas uh, if they're going to wake up backwards, you can actually land the race drive, so that's super sick. Um, if they side roll on the floor, the race drive still lands, so you can get the follow up, and it just looks awesome as well. Or you could be really, really crazy, and you could try to launch them as they're getting up backwards. So this move's actually super spicy, and you can do a lot of things with it. So if you want to try out something new with drag, definitely try and use this. I just thought I'd add in as well, uh, because down forward 1 is actually minus 1 to minus 3, and obviously jabs, you can definitely do Sabaki parry after this as well. So, if you're a poke style player, you can definitely use just regular pokes and do that after as well. Okay, so since quarter circle forward uh, 4 now does a rollover um, animation, you can actually get a lot of good Oki with it out of combos. So, first of all, uh, if the opponent does hold back, you can get either a forward forward 4, which does hit grounded as well, so if they stay down this will hit. Um, you can get forward 3-2, this actually connects because it's surprisingly got heaps of range. And the rage drive does also work as well. So, de so depending on how big of a risk you want to take, you can actually get heaps of damage out of this. The only way out of all of these options is to tech roll, but as you guys know, if you tech roll, you are forced to take a 50-50, so that's also probably more so in your favor than anything else. So we're actually hoping they tech roll in the end. Now you would have to be really dumb to challenge this, but I mean, I just thought I'd throw in if they did challenge, how much damage you can get out of it. So if they do a get up kick, the forward forward four will counter hit them. Finally, if you do have a big read, uh, you can do Stomp at the end. It will track side rolls, um, but obviously this is all you're going to get out of it. So yeah, hope you guys enjoyed this short little tech video. Um, thanks for mentioning it in the uh, comments. Um, and yeah, just let me know what you guys want me to cover next, and we'll see what we can do about it. Anyway, take it easy for now, guys. Peace.